So I'm in the process of rebuilding my trike prior to this big tour and wanted to document a few features of it before I dismantle them. Here goes. This is the main thing I wanted to point out. It is the hitch for attaching a second trike behind so we can ride as a tandem. Um, this is on my trike which is already sort of in pieces. But so I meant to do a build video for this when I put it together, but I didn't. So instead I'm going to do an unbuild video, reverse build video, I don't know, as I take it apart here. So this has a hub here. Normally the fork of the second trike would attach to this hub to be towed behind. This works great with a trike. It would not work with a bike because um, it would just tip over. But this this pivot allows the trike to move a little bit um, as it you know goes over a bump and the wheels go up on one side. The hub allows a little bit of Dang it, I'm, I'm sure there's terms for this in, like, aviation, but this kind of three-dimensional motion doesn't really have bike terminology. Anyway, it's built with a stem, a hub, and some bearings from the hardware store, and a bolt. Oh, and what normally attaches here is the front end of this trike, uh, which has stuff sitting on top of it, but normally this fork would attach, and then... The headset here provides the pivot that allows it to turn, and so you just kind of are able to tow that trike around like a trailer. You can do the same thing on some of the commercial Delta trikes, like the Hazaket Weasel, if I'm pronouncing that right, and also their Trigo model, I think, or Trigo, and what's the other one? Oh, the Green Speed Inura. Anyway, uh, I'll see if I can prop the camera up somewhere, and do a little video as I dismantle this. Okay, I made a bone holder out of a cardboard box, so let's do this. Um, I think I put red locker on this big bolt that's holding it in place, um, so it is proving rather difficult to remove. But we can get it off eventually. If I were to do it again, I would absolutely put a second bar behind this and use a longer bolt going through two crossbars instead of just mounting it to one crossbar because this was tugging down on just one side of that bar and let's see I'll try to get the camera up to it here yeah you see where the end of that tube is torn out there that's what happened after about a year of use when this crossbar was bolted on at that location instead of the current location um, so be careful of, you know, attaching the entire weight of another trike cantilevered off of the back of something. Here we go. Washers, nut, big bolt, and then these are the bearings. They sell these at the hardware stores around here, most places I've ever been. I think the outside diameter is... One inch? Uh, I have calipers around here somewhere. Whatever, I can just eyeball the measurement. Um, yeah, one inch, and it's got a little lip on it. So this is a BMX stem that's made for a one inch steer tube, and I don't know, this is probably for a BMX 22-2 handlebar clamp. Uh, you just have to find a front hub that fits inside the stem that you made. Oh yeah. Here's the bearing. So you can see it's got a little lip on the top here. Um, it's kind of beat up, but it's in decent shape still. This worked pretty well, uh, aside from that issue with cantilevering it. And it would have cost, I think, upwards of $100 to buy something comparable. I probably spent under $20 on this, getting the parts secondhand, except for the bearings and the bolt. It only works, of course, if your trike has something like this crossbar back here that you can bolt onto, which, if you're building your own trike, you can absolutely make that happen. If not, you might have to improvise a little, but yeah. It works nicely, especially if you're riding with someone else who enjoys being on a tandem and on a regular Delta trike. Okay, that's all for now.